you should share in our fun. We're going to call the order the regular school board meeting for the month of February for the Solon Community School District Board of Directors. Chris, can you call the roll? I can. Wolf. Here. Ruckholtz. Here. Coons. Here. Aleska. Here. Via Zoom. Um, Brown. Here. Student Rep. Bree Henning. Here. Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Welcome to those who are here or online, which are already. Um, celebration of Achievement. Davis? Yeah, we've got, uh, I've, I've got a handout for you that will kind of walk through the meeting. Um, Sammy McAtee, a teacher at the Intermediate School. Uh, she's also our sponsor for the Alpha Club, uh, received the Achievement and Education Award by the Optimist Club. And then Jody Lime Cooler is our sponsor for FBLA. Uh, at the district, we had a number of our students do very well, uh, placing uh, top top five in multiple events. So, want to give a shout out to our students and our sponsor Jody Lime Cooler on that. Very nice. I think last year we had some, some of them, they did well last year as well. Yeah, went to the national. Yeah, they yeah. had a couple of stuff they did. Yeah, mm -hmm. after the national. Yeah, so it'll be interesting to see how is there some overlap from last year. So. Um, folks, I'm learning. Yeah, um, just quickly, uh, high school they had uh, ICAP conferences, mm -hmm. and um, the ICAP team, um, well, high school does conferences four times a year, just one night, uh, four times a year. The February one is all around ICAP, they had ninth, tenth, and eleventh grade. For uh, ninth grade, they had 72 percent of the students represented. Uh, with a parent that came to conferences. Um, in 10th grade, they had more of an open house uh, where they went through concurrent enrollment and, and academies and career tech and things like that. And they had 50% um, of the parents uh, or the students represented at that open house. And then in 11th grade, um, the juniors, they met with their uh, seminar teacher for for um, ICAP pur purposes, and 63% of the students were represented by a parent at the conferences. So they're very pleased with um, the, the turnout. Uh, they've done a good job of going back and after action review, looking to see how, how they can increase those numbers and things like that. They're already talking about um, next spring, instead of a one night, uh, have the conferences, give the teachers, the seminar teachers, for example, they have a roster of 15 to 20 kids, give them like a two week window uh, to schedule with parents uh, to ensure closer to 100% instead of a one night deal. So that's, that's something that they're discussing and looking at uh, in the future calendar. So just your question. Yeah. The contract, though, if they have to be available all this time, you know, it, they, yeah, it would equate okay. to. I mean, right now we keep you know four four nights out of the year, um, we keep them uh, basically a full day, okay, like two thirds, two consecutive Thursdays, half day, half day into the evening. So it would equate to one day. So we would just Even over a two week two period. Days. Still, just one day for those. Yes, yes, absolutely. The time would not exceed. Okay. What we typically do. Great question. Okay. Admin reports. Yeah. So for the admin report, I wanted to just quickly um, with with our consent agenda. That's the next item. I just wanted to really uh, walk through very quickly on the sheet here as far as uh, take any questions that you may have on any of those items. We are taking big steps forward into um, now that we've got that grant secured. Um, Sean put together the the uh, camera order. So we're going to place an order for all these cameras, uh, interior and exterior throughout our four buildings. Um, our bus bids, um, uh, Hoagland is the winner of the new bus bid. And Hoagland is a bus that we haven't purchased for a while. They've got the, the newer ones have now the Cummings engine, which is what our current buses have. But the Hoagland has the nose on them where the engine is up front. 
Uh, I think our mechanic will much prefer just lifting the hood and taking care of everything instead of digging in underneath. The reason why we haven't gone with Hoagland in the past is one, they used an international engine that we weren't too fond of. And two, because of the conventional bus, their capacity is only up to 77 and we've been getting the 86. Now these are gonna be route buses. And so, you know, we like the 86 passenger for activities. We've been taking 86 passenger buses on, on routes, but we don't wanna put that many kids uh, with a daily route driver. So the shorter buses, the mm -hmm. 77 capacity will more than uh, suffice. And they were the cheapest. Oh. So uh, Lakeview Elementary, we're going to, part of the renovation, we're going to put all new ceiling mounted projectors in the classrooms and conference rooms. They have them now, but they were the first building that we really, that in the high school that installed them in. And they're old and the lumens are weak. So when the teachers flip on all their lights and it's a nice sunny day, it's kind of hard to, it fades. Well, Sean, um, we we're going we're, we're to put lasers. We, we bought laser printers. These are laser, laser projectors. So the lumens will be extremely high, the highest lumens that we'll have in the district. And um, we're just going to purchase them early, get them installed early prior to the big project because the price that Sean got on them uh, was Sean said would save us about 10 grand in the long run. So the special are running. So meaning they'll tie right into their computer. Is that what you mean? And a document camera, it all, yeah, it all works right into the, as, as they do now, it'll work just the same as what they've got now. It'll just be newer technology and brighter lumens. Yeah, instead of an LED, it'll be a, the laser. Yeah. yeah. So we won't be changing bulbs after 10, 12 years, we'll change the whole system. So, um, again, another Lakeview project that we had planned in the renovation was to uh, heating and cooling HVAC. Um, we can't wait on the part in the cafeteria kitchen. It went kapooey last spring. Um, we're piecing it together right now. So we've got a, a bid to just get that taken care of now, which the same mechanical engineer that designed the revamp of our entire system, this will uh, tie in right next to it. Um, this, this is bond money, yes. It, it, yep, we're going to use bond money for it. Same, we're going to use bond money with those projectors too, since that was part of our idea too. Um, going to purchase a, a scoreboard at the baseball field. That's something that that baseball project had been working for a couple years. They did secure a grant from the casino. They got some private donations. And so they do have the money to purchase the Dactronics um, scoreboard. Dactronics is out of I think Des Moines. Brooklyn, Thank you. <laughs> okay, our sales rep okay. was out of Des Moines. <laughs> That's their big Oh yeah, and and uh, pleased with Dactronics because that's all of our other scoreboards. So people who are running this scoreboard have easily know how to run this scoreboard and, and things like that. Okay, um, and then the other thing is just um, I know uh, Pat worked with the um, finance team as far as looking at BSAP, their budget mm -hmm. and their wages for their employees, and so uh, we haven't really touched employee wages there for BSAP for a while. So this will be a nice boost in um, compensating those kids and bringing back, you know, the the adults that we have in that program. So those are the the items for the consent. Thanks, Davis. Yeah. Uh, consent agenda. Well, well, sorry, we're... sorry, I don't think there's any board committee updates this month. So uh, unless I'm missing something from somebody, no, so consent agenda. Motion to approve the consent agenda as presented. Motion by Coonan, second by Wolf. All in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried unanimously. You got to scroll down because I can't see the rest of you. Oh, yep. Yeah, sorry. Well, I didn't bring the cast. computer tonight. Right. Okay. okay. Action items. Sure uh, second mm -hmm. reading of board policy is 100, 200, series 401.1 mm -hmm. and equal employment opportunity. 
I don't think we had any uh, guidance to the administration after we reviewed the first reading. So <clears throat> unless somebody came up with something they want to discuss, we're open to approving the second reading. Motion to approve the second reading of both policy 100 and 200 series 401.1 equal opportunity, equal employment opportunity. Yes, Motion by Coons. Second. Okay. Second by Rolls. Any discussion? Thanks for staying on top of these things. The law has changed faster than we can keep policies updated. So uh, we'll get mm -hmm. we'll have another batch of them coming, I'm guessing, later this spring. Um, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries unanimously. Uh, next up is the first reading of board policies 104, 104.0 anti, uh, anti bullying harassment policy. 502.7 student substance abuse, 605.3 R1 reconsideration instruction materials regulations, 713 staff technology use, social networking, removal of all 104 procedure or, and removal of all 104 procedural policies. Okay. Maybe so the policy committee, one of you want to, or governance committee, one of you want to give us a rundown? Yeah, you bet. And, and um, so on the anti bullying harassment policy, Currently, that policy is pages one. It's got 14 pages. Uh, what uh, pages four through 14 are pretty much um, um, forms. forms. What we're asking is we remove the forms. Um, right now, those forms are locked in and it does restrict our investigative procedures or practices. Um, the first three pages are ISB uh, language. You know, uh, we don't tolerate bullying. Um, this is kind of the process we take. This is how you um, uh, report. Um, and then, like I said, from from after the language, then the remainder of that policy is forms. We do have policy uh, forms that we use that have been um, more investigative friendly, and I I would say easier for those those um, submitting a referral. Um, to understand when filling out, you know, the initial form, when seeing the investigative, you know, process and things like that. And so we're just asking that uh, by removing those that we'll have our own set of forms that we can tweak to better align to our practice. I think, I'll just, I think this point's uh, for a while, I asked you to recommend or suggested forms for almost everything that when there was process and I think they've been pulling back from that recommendation because districts are doing things differently. And so I think mm -hmm. our, our process still aligns with the trainer that was brought in um, probably nine years ago. And um, it's just what happened is those those exact forms got put into board policy. And as we've used them and um, we've learned that there's some areas that, you know, changes and updates and things like that. And without a board policy change, we can't update those at all. So are these things that just completely go away, they go into a handbook and they go into they well they go into folders. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but, I mean it's not like it's not represented anyplace else. And then they're just for your tools, right? For our tools. Yeah. There'll be one one form that remains and that will be the intake form. Okay. And we do want to tweak that. It's it's pretty cumbersome right now. We want it to be an easy form for a parent or a student or a child, you know, to be able to complete that to initiate the investigation. Yeah. yeah. So this would go in kind of kind of an administrative handbook. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. That, that's like a staff said. administrative handbook. Yeah. Um, the the five hundred two point seven substance abuse. That's just a language change. That's again ISB recommendation. We're we're going to use substance abuse, which will encompass smoking, alcohol, drugs. And it had been called that smoking, it's alcohol, alcohol, drugs. Alcohol, drugs. It's been called that. Yeah. The, the new language is just it will encompass substance mm -hmm. abuse to really. Well, it's a big problem too because there's a lot of yes. Um, the reconsideration committee or the reconsideration of instructional materials. Remember, we have a committee to where if if a uh, a certain portion of our curriculum or a library book or something is challenged as far as I don't think that's appropriate. We have board policy uh, where a, com a, a co board committee um, that we approve every year that we approve every year that has uh administrator, librarian, staff, parents, students uh, on this committee that will take it and then provide the board with a recommendation 
new law that passed um, that went into effect in January removes students from the reconsideration committee. Our language currently states that two students will be on that committee. So this will just remove the students from the reconsideration committees. Have you reached out to the students to let them know that the committee hasn't met in decades? Yeah, going to get this change. Yeah, and then, what, yeah. We'll, we'll reach out to them and let them know what's going on. Okay. Yeah. And then the other policy, 713 staff technology, social networking, that's actually moving to the 400 series. Mm -hmm. So um, just an aside, quick, since we, we had bullying training nine years ago, Yep, might be something to revisit within the next year. Yep. You know, just things may have changed and we want to stay on top of that. We, we do stuff. participate in um, investigation training, Yeah, but to, just, to accompany I mean, that, yeah. It might be worth looking to see if there's anything. Yeah. And Davis and I talked about kind of at our year end and getting uh, some updates on the broad behavioral side of things, referrals at the elementary, middle school, yeah, elementary through high school level, the office, and then also the you know, number of investigations that were found and you know, kind of what, what they're centered around. Well, we do our year end week. Yeah, so maybe that time we talk about that too. Yeah. Any questions? Yeah. Can I get a motion? Motion approved. Motion by Kunz. Second. Second by Wolf. Any further discussion? Three, any concerns over changing the bullying policy? No. Okay. Um, all those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries unanimously. Mm -hmm. uh, next up is the budget adjustment guarantee resolution for the 2024-2025 fiscal year. Um, and this, uh, well, you talk on that. Yeah. So this is basically, um, uh, budget guarantee guarantees 101% of our revenue from the preceding year. And it's meant to deal with flips where you have a big plastic for schools like us, when you have a big class that graduates and a smaller kindergarten class that comes in and your numbers dip for a year. And so we had that the point in this year where we had, we got rid of lots of kids and, you know, more, more kids graduate than came in kindergarten. So we have to, this allows us to get, protect our budget. And so it's not clear, Pat's not sure if we need it, but if we don't approve the resolution, so then, we can't use it. then we can't use it. So it depends, this really factors into what the state comes back with from a money standpoint. So if, if the state gives us, you know, if the state were to do 0% increase, we'd still guarantee to get at least what we had last year. Mm -hmm. And so this, yeah, it's okay. No, this is one, yeah, one hundred percent. But yeah, if we if we don't uh, do this and it comes into play, then we can't. Uh, we don't have a guaranteed money. So this is, mm -hmm. I think, you know, Davis, you correct me. Pat thinks we're going to be just the we'll be above the guarantee, but it, we're, it's close enough that it's, since the legislature has not approved their uh, SSA. SSA as required within thirty days of meeting, uh, we are now in a spot where it's best to do this uh, because we don't know what we're going to get. So. <clears throat> motion to approve, approve the budget adjustment resolution for 2024-2025 fiscal year. As presented, this is, is this a roll call? I would like to do a roll call. This one's a roll call. So we have a motion by Wolf. Second. Second by Coons. Any discussion? Questions? Hearing none, roll call. Wolf. Yes. Rockholtz. Yes. Coons. Yes. Haleska online. Yes. Brown. Yes. Motion passes. Okay. Uh, informational items. We have uh, financial indicators. Um, we we're going to have Casey here, but he's at State Wrestling uh, mm -hmm. today. So uh, we decided to push that off until we could actually be mm -hmm. here so that we could. There's been that big one. Uh, awesome. Guys, can you wrestle again? Are you wrestle tonight, right? For semifinals, okay. Mm -hmm. He did that in districts. Yeah, top ranked. Yeah. So these, uh, I, I put graphs in the the packet. This is um, some uh, data that Pat shares oh, a couple times a year. Uh, our indicators, a common graph that she presents to you. You can see um, one note that I wanted you to see is the salary benefit ratio. Uh, you know, we like to be around 78, 80% of our budget uh, keep uh, spent on um, personnel, stay in that range. You can see in 2023, it dipped to 76. 
that's because our real number would be closer to 79%. I put that in there, but we took um, ISL dollars, instructional support levy dollars, and we uh, put that into, um, we should in, into purchasing um, some vans and um, some computers and some other things that we typically take out of Pebble but we are shoring up Pebble uh, in in preparation for uh, to start kick off these uh, projects, and so Pat said, think of it as if you've got a you know a dollar in this pot. What we did is we put another dollar in, so now you've got two dollars sitting there. Now, when you're making that percentage, we we've, we've added. The value of the dollar is now two dollars, and so as we're as we're calculating the percent spent on personnel, we've added. Yeah, so we've we've, made, we've kept salaries the same, salaries and benefits the same, but we've increased the denominator by spending more money. Better what? Yeah. Funds, yeah. Thank you. So yeah. So the percentage we looks different because we, we we spent more money out of the ISL, which counts in consensus ratio on yeah. things that are not salaries. But in reality, we've kind of stayed right at that mm -hmm. mark. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so had we not done that, you're saying it would have been at seventy nine point four. Yeah, correct. Yeah. yeah. But we instead of spending it on salaries, we spent it elsewhere. No, we what we we spent what we spent on salaries is the same. Just we spent more. We counted it as someplace else. So that we like diluted it. So. If normally it's 80%, then we actually had 80 out of 100, but now we went 80 out of 105 because we put five in from someplace else. So we could draw from it? Yeah. But Correct. It, but it wasn't used for salary. Yeah. So therefore, right. so that, the total spend was there, but because it's the salary and benefits ratio. That's what this measures. Yeah. It's kind of a now, weird. Sometimes, I, sometimes we, for one time shifting of money, we'll do that. Um, it's, it's, it, this is the whole thing about the silos, and the, yeah. the state allows us and to move money around. Why did we want to? Why? Why did we want to deplete Pebble? We're, try, we're trying to save money. In Pebble. Save money, in Pebble. We typically would. We we took what uh, we uh, typically. We take, yes. We save it. Yes. 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 Other money around in, in places we could spend it from. Yes. Yeah. So, so our indicators look good. <laughs> yeah. Consistent. Yeah. Any other uh, one more thing for informational item. I just want to say that um, we're, we're getting into this project, Jamie, and I talked about it yesterday, um, the SIS project. And, you know, within that project, we have planned um, and we've always had planned uh, to address the playground. So um, met with Mel and Holly, who are going to work on that together we're putting a, a a committee together that will consist of teachers from both buildings, uh, parents with kids at the building coming up. Um, th those two administrators, um, they're going to work on uh, contacting three or four companies, getting catalogs, and just start picking out things that they would desire in a playground as such. And then um, our hope and I know it's February already, but our hope is that we could maybe start installation this summer. And is that Pebble money? That will be bond. That's still bond. Still, still going to use bond money. Setting. This will be a, part of the this project. Will be at CIS. This will be at SIS. Okay. Yeah. And then so, so, so with this process, what we'll do is once if we can get that done this summer, then we'll use that same type of procedure and 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 start addressing. Uh, we may address the uh, Lakeview playground before we even get inside Lakeview. Okay. Yeah. And so that's part of the bond. And so this this kind of moves that up here because I know we originally said when they finished with the CIS building. So, Correct. So we think we can put it in a spot where that's it doesn't, our hope. Where it doesn't yep. interfere with construction. And and right now, as we walk the spot several times, really we're going to have to go um, south of our existing concrete, which will be towards Fifth Street. We're trying to protect and save. Uh, that green space on the other side of the fire lane that goes back. It we want to keep green space for those kids to still run and throw right. the football and kick the soccer ball and and so we don't want to put concrete back there. And so is the, is the plan still to kind of 
good ideas and then send them off to them and say, these are some general ideas we have and this is the money we have available in it and say, give us your best yeah. pitch for what you think would work. Yes. Yeah. Yes. And they're going to design also lately, but not start it this summer? Right. We'll wait. No, we'll wait till we get this installed. Then we'll start from scratch. Process. Go mimic that process and start in on Lakeview. Yeah. And you got the Lakeview parents in the district because those kids are flowing in there. And Correct. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, sounds good. Uh, board learning. We were supposed to watch those webinars. Did yep. You? I sent you two webinars. Most of you have replied that you've seen them, but just pay attention to them. You guys almost have all your credits in for the year. Cassie's already got a uh, email from ISB that she's a rock star. We talked about Salt Lake City. Um, yeah. That question? Yeah. 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 Salt Lake City, we're still, we're still stuck with the, we're still stuck with spending out the money from COVID, the COVID money. Right. So it still sits, it still sits there sure. and there are restrictions on how you can spend it. And so. Right. Yeah, I just thought I think that we talked about from a finance yeah. standpoint that the goal is to is to this year make a dent in, in bringing it back down. But yeah, higher than we want to be, but yeah. right now we recognize that given the projects that yeah. are coming up and the yeah. initial stacking that we're going yeah, to do. Yeah, wanted to leave it open. We yeah. understand yeah. we're eight yeah. percent over, and we have plans. Why? We know why. Yeah, we have plans to make mm -hmm. it where we want. Yeah, we we and we did talk about. Uh, we, we talked about, and we may bring this up in a subcommittee, which is officially approving changes to the to the targets for this while we're in this building. So yeah, people, because sure. it's one thing to say, it's, every, it's like we're outside our targets. Well, we're, we're out of our traditional targets, but we're within where we've, where we've said we want to be while we're going through this building mm -hmm. phase. And maybe we should just explicitly and officially say that at a board meeting. Yeah. And so uh, we've got this on the agenda, and I, we're going to bring that back next month and, and, as we look towards. As soon as this goes public, yeah. we just need to make sure that we have the information. Yeah. Sure. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. 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 I forget that you guys aren't in our meetings. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that that would make it a different meeting, and we'd have other problems. Mm -hmm. um, similar, you're not in the meetings, but take a look at it. We didn't talk about this today, but take a look at this packet as well. It's yes, yes. the informational packet about the yes. ESB in addition to the ways that wages changes. We're also considering a tuition increase. Yeah. Yeah. So, good stuff. Amber's going to reach out. So, mm -hmm. figuring that out and thinking, thinking through what the expansion of that would look like. Talking points. Jamie. Uh, well, I'm excited about all the stuff we've got going on and all the buildings. Mm -hmm. and getting a lot of stuff. Really rolling now. It's starting to get exciting. Mm -hmm. You say that now. <laughs> you will not say that in a couple of months. Mm -hmm. That's true, but for now, it's exciting. That when you happening. when you guys have to start reviewing change orders mm -hmm. and making recommendations to the board well, on those, so yeah. I, don't, I don't want to ruin it. But I just I, I want to prep you. Okay. Yes. Um, I am excited. Um, I think this is the second year I've learned about the F. The LA yeah. and mm -hmm. just being a business woman myself, I am super excited to see the investment in the kids and what they can learn mm -hmm. in the um, environment. So, yeah. Free. Yeah, I agree. Um, I'm glad that the AST wages are finally being addressed because I was there for a while and I know people who have worked there do very well. Mm -hmm. Good. That's good feedback. Yeah, mm -hmm. it, is, it is good. I think. Uh, They've done a great job. Amber's done a great job in trying to get the budget in a, in a good spot. So that's always a struggle with these with these siloed funds. It's like they've got to they got to pay it. They got to pay their way, and so it's a it's been a struggle uh, you know, to manage that. So and she's done a great job. Mm -hmm. Dan, uh, I think it's you know we've been talking about this grant for safety for so long, and now the purchases mm -hmm. are starting to come through. I'll be interested to see, at least I'd like to see where we're thinking about putting the cameras and kind of what our thoughts are in the future. And um, also I learned what Alaska's hair looked like. <laughs> <laughs> and I will say that I am happy that the playground at, at CIS is going to be a year ahead mm -hmm. of schedule because I know that that's been a sore point uh, since we moved in there. So we're, when we get a playground, it's like, well, we can't put a playground in until we know where everything's going to be and we get final plans to finish the building. Mm -hmm. So I'm glad they were find a, find, able to find a way to move it forward a year ahead. So, Can I, and, and I want to give a, a shout out to uh, the Solon Economist and Chris. 
But how do you say his last name? You Yimish. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Who, yeah, who has really done a good job of um, covering Solon. Mm -hmm. uh, last Thursday, he wrote a, a great article on the safety grant and all that it entails. And and this week, mm -hmm. he's got an article in the paper about um, uh, partnering with West Branch Tipton and Kirkwood mm -hmm. for workplace learning and expanding out that and and even expanding out our Votech uh, by going full time next year. Well, I think those are just important because in some ways the only way the community kind of interacts with the school. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's good coverage is always appreciated. Absolutely. Next meetings in March sometime. March 21st. March 21st. After uh, spring break. Spring break's early this year. There will be, you know, keep in mind we're gonna have some public hearings that are required by law for the budget that are gonna be coming up. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Glad there's going to be chaos because you know the state hasn't set the set the SSA yet, and mm -hmm. our our stuff is still new at the same time. Mm -hmm. um, so, with that, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. Motion by roll. Second. Second by roll calls. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 Uh, the rest of the board, the rest of the board is going into exempt session. Uh, Bree, Chris, and I are leaving. Stay and we're